welcome all and thanks for watching edupedia world videos this is vikas patil this is the second session of the chapter formation of the earth in this session we will learn about the members of our solar system this session has been divided into two parts in this part we will cover our sun and the first four planets while in the second part we will cover the outer planets and other small solar system bodies in these two parts of this topic we are going to try and achieve the following objectives acquire knowledge about the members of our solar system analyze how members of our solar system affect each other compare the planets with our earth develop understanding about important terms like orbit rotation revolution etc before we begin our exploration about the members of our solar system let us look at some of the common misconception that exist regarding these members of our solar system first many people believe that all the planets of our solar system have come out of the sun second many of us believe that all the planets spin from west to east direction just like our earth third many people believe that all the planets have solid surface just like our earth some people believe that solar system has nine planets many of us believe that the planet jupiter is the largest terrestrial body of our solar system all these are myths during the course of this session you will understand what the real facts are first things first let us get familiar with some important terms that we are going to come across in this session solar system the sun its planets and all the objects moving around them collectively form the solar system orbit orbit is the path along which planets move around the sun all planets have orbits of elliptical shape au au stands for astronomical unit this is the distance between our earth and the sun this is the standard unit to measure distance in our solar system light year light year is the distance traveled by light in one earth year that is 365 days it is used to measure and express the distance between distant stars and galaxies axis axis is the imaginary line that passes through the center of a planet and connects the poles natural satellites a celestial body that revolves around planet is known as a natural satellite moon is the natural satellite of earth Cooper belt the Cooper belt is a disk shaped region of icy objects beyond the orbit of Neptune that is the last planet of our solar system it is billions of kilometers away from the sun Pluto is the best known member of this icy world our solar system comprises of the sun eight planets in their satellites dwarf planets asteroids meteorites and comets big what do you think is big is the car you drive big or maybe the house you live in or maybe the city or you might say our earth is a big planet well your definition of the term big 
is going to change because our big earth is so small when compared to the other planets of our solar system. Yes, earth is a tiny planet when compared with large planets like Jupiter and Saturn. But hold on, Jupiter and Saturn are still not big. Let's compare them with our sun. Yes, our sun is much, much bigger than our planets. The sun is the largest member of our solar system. It forms nearly 98% of all the matter that exists in our solar system. It is an average sized star when compared with other stars and is the nearest star to the planets of our solar system. When compared with Earth, it is about 1.25 lakh times as large as the Earth. Yes, you heard it right. 1.25 lakh times as large as the Earth. Sun is around 15 crore kilometers away from the Earth. Light, which travels at the speed of 3 lakh kilometers per second takes 8 minutes to reach the Earth from the Sun. As mentioned earlier, it is the closest star to Earth. And after Sun, the next closest star is around 4.37 light years away, the Alpha Centauri. The Sun is the power station of our solar system. It is responsible for holding the planets in the solar system and also for providing light and heat to them. It allows the Earth to gain enough heat to sustain life. Just like most stars, it is made up mainly of hydrogen and helium. It is believed to have surface temperatures of about 6000 degrees Celsius, while the temperatures at the center are approximately 1.4 crore degrees Celsius. Such high temperatures are obtained by the process of nuclear fusion that takes place continuously in the sun. In this process, four hydrogen atoms combine to form a helium atom and during this conversion, Tremendous amount of heat is given out. Sun continuously radiates light and steam of charged particles known as solar wind, which travel in all directions at speed of roughly 1.5 million kilometers per hour. Looking through a telescope, we can notice some dark spots on sun, which are known as sunspots. It is believed that these spots are areas of low temperatures which are created due to the magnetic fields of the sun. By tracking these hot spots of sun, the scientists were able to discover that the sun also rotates on its axis. Besides the sun, our solar system has eight large celestial bodies known as planets. Pluto was considered as the ninth planet of our solar system until 2006 when the term planet was redefined and Pluto did not match the requirements for being a planet. It is now considered as a dwarf planet. The eight planets of our solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The planets can be classified into two groups, the inner planets and the outer planets. The inner planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. All the inner planets are smaller in size when compared to the outer planets, but they have solid surface. 
they are also known as terrestrial planets. Let's look at these planets one by one. Mercury. Mercury is the planet nearest to the sun. It is named after the Roman god who was a messenger known for his speed. It is only slightly larger than Earth's moon. It is also the smallest planet in our solar system. When compared with Earth, its mass is just 5.5% of Earth's total mass. Mercury is about 0.4 astronomical units away from the Sun and the Sun rays are about 7 times stronger than on Earth. It is dry, very hot and practically airless. Being closest to the Sun, Mercury revolves around the Sun faster than any other planet. It revolves around the Sun about once every 88 Earth days. However, it rotates slower than the Earth and takes around 58.6 Earth days to complete one rotation. Its day side is superheated by the Sun, but at night temperatures drop hundreds of degrees below freezing. Looking at its surface, large crates and ridges can be easily seen. Venus Venus is the second closest planet to the Sun. It was named for the Roman goddess of love and beauty. It is 0.7 astronomical unit away from the Sun. It is almost the same size as Earth and its mass is about 81.5% of the Earth's total mass. Also, it is made up of similar silicate material. So that's why scientists call it Earth's twin. Venus rotates so slowly that its one typical day lasts approximately 244 Earth days, that is 5856 hours of day. It has the slowest rotation in solar system. Venus has a dense atmosphere with large amount of carbon in it. That is why it is hotter than any other planet of our solar system with around 400 degrees Celsius temperature on the surface. Surprisingly, Venus spins slowly in the opposite direction of most planets, that is, east to west. Venus orbits the Sun once in about 225 Earth days. Venus is sometimes called the morning star or evening star because it appears brightest shortly before sunrise and shortly after sunset. Earth Earth is the perfect planet. It's neither too close to the sun nor too far away. Also, thanks to the Earth's magnetic field, it has a balanced atmosphere with right combination of gases. This means Earth doesn't get too hot or too cold, unlike all other planets. Oxygen comprises of 21% of the total mass of the Earth's atmosphere, while carbon dioxide makes very tiny share. Another life-supporting feature present on Earth is the hydrosphere that contains water. Because of its comfortable temperatures and presence of water, Earth is the only known place to have life that makes Earth very special. Earth is the fifth largest planet and the third planet from the Sun, which is about 93 million miles away. It takes one year for Earth to travel completely around the Sun. 
it has one satellite of its own the moon mars mars is the fourth planet of our solar system from the sun it was named after the roman god of war it is 1.5 astronomical unit away from the sun and takes around 687 earth days to complete one revolution around the sun while 24.6 hours to complete one rotation it is half the diameter of earth and makes 10.7% of earth's total mass it was named after the roman god of war because of its reddish orange color which actually comes from iron rust and other minerals in the soil it is also called the red planet looking closely to the surface it seems to have volcanoes canyons polar ice caps and rift valleys there are signs of seasonal change as well its atmosphere is thin and mainly composed of carbon dioxide due to its thin atmosphere it cannot hold liquid oxygen for long on surface it has two known satellites this was all for this session in the next session we will focus on the outer planets of our solar system and other small solar system objects don't forget to watch thank you